a faster stateless motor. This is the permanent magnet on the bottom. With a motor, an electric motor, an N20 500 RPM electric motor attached to it. So the motor is going to spin the magnet around and the magnet, which you can see is a compass. So it's always going to try and point north. And it has quite a lot of force there or torque that makes it point north. So while the magnet stays still, the motor is actually going to turn the armature of this permanent magnet stateless motor in a circle. And it goes pretty fast. So I'm going to start it up. And north is facing this way towards the camera. So you can see it's going slow. So I'm going to bring it up to the next speed. It has to be accelerated slowly. Otherwise it will go out of phase. See it went out of phase because I accelerated too slowly, too quickly. So let's try it again. I did get it going pretty fast before. So let's try. Now, I'm not quite sure what the RPM is. And I'm holding the base. I don't know if you could see my hand holding the base to stop it from shaking so much. The reason it shakes is because the magnet is uh, lining up with the flux lines of Earth's magnetic field, as any compass would do. And what that's doing is pulling the magnet down. So the motor would have to be tilted on an ax axle, on an axis, um, for it to not wobble. But I can get it going pretty fast. And what it's doing is it, the motor turns on a little and then turns off a little. So let's see how fast I can get it to go. And you can hear the pitch getting higher and higher as it spins faster. I don't think we could get it up to 500 RPM, maybe 300 or maybe higher. That's it. That was top speed and it's going to blow apart. So that was a fun experiment. So let's try one more time. And you see it's controlled by a MOSFET and the MOSFET only lets five volts through. So it's a six volt motor. So what I did, I don't know if you can see that, I wired in a little boost converter to bring it up to six volts going into the gate of the MOSFET. So the MOSFET is directly connected to the 9-volt battery. The Arduino is connected to the 9-volt battery, but the, the uh, digital pin going from the Arduino to the gate of the MOSFET is only a little less than 5 volts. So let's try again.
So you can see we got it going pretty fast. I, what I have to do is watch it in slow motion and count how many turns to get the RPM. I don't want to go much faster than this. Maybe one more notch. That's pretty stable, right like that. I'm a little cautious about going any faster. It really is rocking and rolling now. One more now. No. That one last, uh, one extra notch is what did it in. So, that's my video. Give me a like, subscribe, rumble. Um, I hope you catch on to the idea of this. Uh, this is not a pointless exercise. Uh, hopefully it, it shows the um, power of the Earth's magnetic field over a large area and uh, just how uh, much force it can apply in, at, or torque at least. And depending on the size of the magnet, it's actually um, a factor of one higher than the attraction force of the the um, if you pointed the north the south pole directly towards the Earth's north pole, um, it would pull with a very slight force, which they say is like less than a refrigerator magnet. But when the torque and that that's calculated by one over the distance cubed. And if you, um, if you calculate the torque, it's actually one over the distance squared. So it's actually a factor higher. So in the case of the Earth, it's many thousands of times higher, more powerful. So give me a like, give me a rumble, subscribe, share with a friend, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned.